Four Mile Island, there was 311 bars. This is not counting restaurants to serve alcohol. Drinking is a sport. Game on. All of these bars uh, are available to, to me, but not to you. <laughs> but there's going to be five bars for you folks, which are really good bars. We're going to stop at each of these bars. I'm going to give everybody a blue ticket. Now, these blue tickets are going to be good for either a uh, well drink, which is defined as vodka, rum, tequila, whiskey, bourbon, gin, or scotch with a single mixer. Or a domestic beer, which is uh, Miller, Budweiser, or Coors. Now also, it will be available, if you don't want one of those other two, for whatever the drink special is. And I'll announce the drink special at each bar when we get there. Now we're going to have approximately 20 minutes at each bar, which should be plenty of time. Uh, bartenders are pretty fast. Of course, a lot of people worry, oh my gosh, I'll barely get my drink, and then we'll, I'll have to suck it down real quick and walk around and go play. Guess what? You're going to like this next part. You can walk around this town with a drink in your hand. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to move here. Now you see why I stayed. Yes. Go from one bar to the other with the same drink. That rarely happens because we have a high evaporation rate here. Um, now, do be aware, everybody on the island does work for tips. Please don't forget the bartender, so we're always invited back to these places. Um, like I said, we'll be at 20 minutes. At some time during our pub crawl, we are going to have a contest for these valuable cheeseburger in paradise food. Ooh, I know you want them. I know you want them. What's the contest? Oh, I'll, I have to wait until you're in the correctly, chemically enhanced state to, to get the full benefit. Uh, also, when I blow the conch shell and everybody comes out, if you notice that somebody in the group is not with us or you watch them go into the washroom or a store across the street, let me know so we don't leave without them. Hate leaving somebody in the field. Uh, let's see. Oh, if you do get domestic beer, if you get it in a bottle, before you leave the bar, have them pour it into Key West Crystal for you. A plastic cup. That's the only thing they have about drinking on the streets. Is if it's glass, it's got to be in plastic. All right, I think that covers just about everything. All right, y'all ready to start drinking? Yeah. All right, let the bucket all begin. Our, our first bar, what? You guys don't get, like, public driving distance. Uh, they, we could. The law is still on the books. That's what's amazing. Uh, they don't enforce it unless you get really out of hand, but then it's a quick way to smoothly move you right off the streets. Yeah. But there's free housing at the jails. So okay. <laughs> okay, I think that covers everything. Uh, the first bar we're going to go to, I might as well do this here, is going to be the Lazy Gecko. Mm -hmm. Now, the drink du jour there, this is the only place that has a dollar extra, but for a dollar extra, the special is any of their frozen drinks, and these are good frozen drinks, let me tell you. For two dollars extra, you can get a floater. Sounds ominous, doesn't it? A floater is a shot of your favorite liquor on there. So, here we go, let's step right into inebriation, don't mess around. All right, here we go, let's go with Boo! 